Now, even though this is called a makeup tutorial, I am not a makeup artist. This is just what I do on my face. It doesn't come out perfect every time. I don't exactly know what I'm doing to a science, but I know, you know, how to throw some makeup there and make it look decent. Girl, why are you playing with me? Girl, who are you playing with? You've been on that new stuff. I've been on the same shit. Girl, why are you playing with me? I don't got the time for that. Might need me a refund. <laughs> I'ma need that time. Back. Hi guys, my name is Hazel Shea and you're watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm back to bring you a day to night look. So there will actually be two looks showcased in this video. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. Okay, so now that I got my hair out of the way, you always want to start with your skincare. So as soon as I got out the shower, I washed my face and then I immediately put on some face oil. You can apply any oil. Um, I used to use coconut oil just to go in with a little bit. Um, if you have any serums that you use, th this will be the time to apply that. That's your first layer and then you go in with like a moisturizer. Um, if you're beginning and this is your first video or one of your first tutorials, start off with lotion. I use I use the Dove Intense Care. I also used to use the Nivea one or even just lotion. I know people who use just lotion on their face. Any of that would be sufficient for moisturizing, but you definitely want to keep moisture in your face. So like I said, I am dry skin, so I actually have an extra step. This is the hydrating boost. I put that on next. So these are just little droplets that are supposed to keep your face hydrated. Um, I have like dry, flaky skin, especially in like my nose creases and patch. So I just try and like go under my eye. Honestly, I just go everywhere with it. Let me stop acting like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I go everywhere with it because it says hydrating and my face be dry, so. And then I heard that you're supposed to do like little padding motions. So with my oil and my and my hydrating boost, I try and do padding motions. Once I'm done with my prep, I go ahead and I start on my cash cows. I gotta keep the eyebrows fleek. So since I do my own eyebrows, I can tell that I can use a little touch up right here. So I'm just gonna touch that up just a little bit. All right, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my like brow pomade, I guess is what it's called. I have the little cream eyebrow gel thing. I got mine from the beauty supplies for like three dollars. It's been holding in there for me, and it's in dark brown amorous. <laughs> Sometimes, like I've had this for a really long time, so a little trick is like if it starts to get a little cracked or dried out, you put a dab of oil, it doesn't matter any kind of oil. So I put a tiny little dab in there, see that? I start with my good eyebrow, I don't know why, I probably should start with my bad one. But once we do that, I go ahead and I take it and I just do one line from here to here, just go shrink, just like that. do another one from here probably down from right here try and do like a little I try and do like a little loop and then go from here outward and down I angle my wrists pointing down and then do like a little bah, just like that and then I just go in and fill in the brow a little bit dab of it and I start from this peak right here and pull down mm -hmm. 
And then I go on the front and do little strokes. So now that I have the base down, I go in. Ooh, I go in with just a mechanical pencil. This one is from Nika K Auto Liner. And I just go in and fill it in more. And now I'm gonna go in with concealer. Since this is a day to night look, I am, you know, I, I'm typically a full glam kind of girl, full glam doll, you know? Uh, so every time I say I'm gonna do like a nice, cool, muted, daytime, not too much look, it never happens. I totally forgot my makeup brushes. It never happens. It's like I just can't help myself, but today I am keeping a mental tracker. Like light makeup, you wouldn't do so much brow. So I am gonna conceal with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and kind of bring in the brows a little bit. So just do a dab of that on the back of my hand, especially at that top, just, just a little, you know? under the bottom I usually do the bottom first but today that top was just I was not feeling it I wasn't feeling it I had to correct that shit so then you do another little line and what this does is sharpens your edges and since you use it in a concealer which is one to two tones lighter than you it gives that little fresh skin look of, I just got waxed. Ah, you see her? See the difference? Well, howdy there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then we'll get into the daytime eyeshadow look. All right, we got the brows on fleek. Now we're gonna move on to the eye look. So like I said, I'm usually a bit of a drama queen and it's hard for me to stick to simple looks, but um, I saw one on Jackie Ina and I was like, that's cute, that's simple, that's daytime, let's run it. So this is what we are gonna do. So to start the look, I'm gonna go ahead and take the remainder of the concealer from my brows and throw it on my lid, just because I have dark lids. Boom, dot it on like that. And this is the same ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, which is very affordable. I think it was like six bucks at Ulta, and they sell it online. And then you blend that out. I'm gonna take this dark chocolate brown color right here and put it in my crease of it. So I'm gonna do it just like the red look a little bit low key because I do want kind of like a angle. So I just threw a bit right there and then a nice little line right there. Right, fill that in. And then get the blending process started. And I'm keeping it close to the crease line. My eyes kind of naturally make a shadow right here. So I'm kind of just following that shadow and filling it in. And I'm keeping the color kind of muted, like I wanted to have that faded gradients right there. So I'm trying to keep a, a little bit of product on the tip of the brush. Now 
now that I have the basic shape laid down, I am going to go ahead with like a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go in with like a cocoa brown, not like the dark rich brown, but like a little bit lighter so I can mute that line out and get a nice little gradient blending effect going on there. Just going to dab in that. Okay, so once I feel like I got a good blend with the cocoa brown and a nice decent little gradient here, you don't have to do this, but because my eyes are like two different shapes, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just um, carve in a little more lid space on this eye, just so when I put the shadow down, you can see it a little better. So if you wanted to skip this step, you can just skip it right here and go ahead and throw the base, the base shadow on your lid. But... I needed a little extra step because like I said, I can never just, you know, do the basics. All right, so I have that all fixed now. Now I'm gonna go in for my final base lid color, which is also coming from the color book palette. I'm going to be using this color down here. Yeah, so 48 was not doing it for me. So this is the color I thought I was gonna use. This is the color I actually used. And what I do is like I make sure I pick up some kind of on like the tip make sure it's on the dome of the brush and then I like angle it and like press it in that crease so I get that low key sharp line even if I didn't have the concealer there it would have like a nice little consistency sharp line there. So moving on to the other eye. Nice. Now, even though this is called a makeup tutorial, I am not a makeup artist. This is just what I do on my face. It doesn't come out perfect every time. I don't exactly know what I'm doing to a science, but I know, you know, how to throw some makeup there and make it look decent. So the eyes are basically done. I just need to throw some lashes on. And I'm gonna be using my jazzed up lashes by my bestie Jasmine. So let me get my mirror a little closer. This is my favorite lash glue. I tell everybody about it because it has a little lash wand. And I like to apply my lash glue like liner. So instead of using it to attach my lashes, I actually use it to hold my real lashes down while I put the glue on. If you're wondering about my treacherous nails, you can definitely check that out in the description box. That was the activity I did while I told a little story time. <laughs> the last application, the lash application. 
Now, if you're a liner girl, you can go ahead and throw liner on now, but I ditched liner like two, three years ago. It's not really my thing anymore. Now that I learned how to put lashes on without liner, because I had to put on liner to hide like the fuck ups that I would make, try, all the glue spots that would glue together. So to avoid, you know, showing all that mess, I used to wear liner, but now I don't have to do that. And now for the final piece of this light daytime look, I'm going to start on the face. So after the eyes, I like to go in with a little bit of concealer. And then I like to take a small little brush like this. Um, it's kind of like a fluffy angled dome brush. Love this brush for concealer. And I start up here. I like to let my concealer dry down, but my forehead doesn't need to be because if it doesn't dry, it'll be patchy for me. So I do let my concealer sit for a minute or I bust up my fan just to speed up time. Very light little tap. Okay, so we have blended out the concealer. Now we set it and forget it. And we do the same thing, just light little taps. I don't like to use a lot of setting powder under my eyes because like I said, dry skin, dry eyes, it starts cracking, looking ugly, blah, blah, blah. Tap, and some taps, and then I tap. And my final step for my daytime light I was gonna say no makeup makeup look but you can definitely tell there's makeup so light makeup look I'm just gonna touch up my cheekbones with some bronzer kind of a look so I just loosely drag the powder into my cheekbones around my temples skip that kind of go back around here And that's it. Oh, wait, lips. So we're gonna do a little bit of brown lip liner, good old classic. And this is the best lip gloss ever. This is the only lip gloss I can wear because like, I don't know, I guess my lip lines kind of like, they're not defined, they run or something. So basically when I wear any other lip gloss, it looks like I've just been eating greasy chicken and I just look like I got a greasy mouth. NYX lip gloss is my favorite and this is in the shade Spring It On. So that is it. So that's my quick daytime light cute little makeup look. So stick with me and then I will be back in a couple of hours and I will show you how I turn this makeup look into a nighttime transformation look. So I am back to turn this look into our nighttime look. This is what it looks like after what, six hours? Oh, and I took this eyelash off so ignore that but this was the look. So now I'm just going to show you how to spruce it up. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place palette. And we are going to turn this into a nighttime look by adding some deep purple and then a shimmer of this deep. So I start off by dabbing in the purple and then going in on the outer corner. Right in here. So this one, I just went ahead and left the lash on um, because it wasn't bothering me like the other one. 
and as you can see I'm just piling makeup on top of the last layer so this is for if you're trying to do day to night really quickly like maybe you have work but right after you're meeting the girls for a drink and you just want to you know boop spruce your makeup up so you look a little more put together a little more like you did try you know our daytime look we want to look feisty beautiful but not trying we want those looks to know we trying tonight so you see i'm kind of still following that shape but i'm actually coming in on the lid and we want to fill up about half or a little more than half of the lid space so from here out we're filling that with purple same thing right here and then once you have your purple on go ahead and start dabbing in your blue or whatever color you pick what we're going for that says nighttime look right there yes so after that we would add the other lash okay so I popped that little lash right back on there and then I'm just gonna go in I'm actually gonna use foundation for my nighttime look because we want the full coverage we want the full glam beat my foundation is Too Faced Born This Way but a great foundation for affordable like drugstore I used to use um, L'Oreal. Their shit is popping. Who else? Uh, I forget the name of the company, but whoever does like the Dream Matte Liquid Mousse, that was a good one I used to use. So just like everything else, right on top of every what I have, I'm just going to pop a couple of dots of foundation. Especially down here because that has no coverage around here. Boom. So we're gonna let that sit and dry for a little bit. Do I look mad bumpy? I have texture, but ooh, not that bad. Or apparently I do look that bad. We're not gonna look at that. And then a little dot of concealer. And then you just do the exact same thing with your blending. You know, take it up concealer blended move on to foundation pop a little more bronzer on Of course, this time you would add your lipstick, whatever color you choose. I'm actually not wearing any lipstick tonight, but if I was, now would be the time to do it. And then a little setting powder, I mean, and then a little setting spray. ready for a night out on the town <laughs> so that is all I got my homegirl is waiting in the living room right now because I gotta go I'm gonna make my daytime nighttime look worth a damn and I'll catch you later